Hi all, welcome to the Salesforce Ultimate Guide channel. In this video, we are going to work with our next trigger scenario. Entry question 31. Write a trigger on account and check only system administrator profile users should be able to delete an account. Okay. So what they are saying. So right now I have logged in as system administrator. Okay. But we can have different uh, other profiled users as well. So if you take an example, let me deactivate any of the existing account, any of the triggers or text triggers. So we have users. So in the free developer edition, we can create uh, two at least uh, only maximum two Salesforce uh, licensed users. So here I have created one more user here. I have given name as test user. Okay. So for this particular user, I have given a system admin clone profile. Okay. If you go to profiles, we have so many already existing the standard profiles. Okay. Within this, I have just used system administrator profile and I just cloned it to become a different uh, profile. Okay, system admin clone. I have clicked on clone and then I have created. So, like this. So, something like this we can create. Okay. So, uh, this user will have a different uh, profile okay not the system administrator profile so that is how we have actually achieved it so once i log in and that we, we we should also get this login option to get that option we have to go and check there is something like login access policies within the login access policies you will have one setting that administrator can log in as any user if i if at the very starting this will be disabled uh, to make it enable like we just need to click it and save it then we will be able to log in with the other user so right now uh, i have logged in as system administrator then i can go and log in as this particular user if we click on any of the account and try to delete this right now this account is getting deleted but as per our scenario we should not allow any other profile users to delete the account okay so how can we achieve that so we'll go and write on trigger account this is acting only on the single object so account trigger 31 that is on the account submit and this has to work in the before delete condition then as usual we will check if trigger dot is before and trigger dot is delete before delete okay then we will do a for we will run a for loop account acc on trigger so this time it will be trigger dot old because in the delete condition we have to operate on trigger dot old records so now it's time to check the profile okay so there is an object like profile okay 
So on this one, we have like ID name and all. If we query this and execute, see here we can see all the names of the all the profiles. So this is the system administrator and this is the ID of that. To get this particular ID, I need to go and run a query. So right now I got the query. Select ID comma name from profile. Okay, I'm going to utilize the same. Outside the for loop, I will define one profile P is equal to within the square bracket. Select ID name from profile where name is equal to the name should be system administrator. System administrator. System administrator. Okay. Then our account is it in trigger dot old if so we need to check let us say that i am working on this uh, particular uh, anything by them i am deleting the account so i should get my username or profile id so how can we get that that we can get using user info dot get profile id i think you guys already seen this user profile class in the uh, earlier session so in the user info class we have get profile id as the one of the method so using this we can get the profile id of that particular user so user info dot get profile id should not be equal to the p so in p we have the complete profile dot id so when it is not matching then I need to throw an error. So that is like uh, SEC dot add error. Um, and the error is like uh, profile user should not be able to delete an account. So I'll just copy it from. So I just have on my one of the message that i will just copy and paste it here if you don't have permission to delete an account please contact your system administrator okay it's time to test now is that triggered what's your now i will go and log in as first if i try using a uh, normal system administrator delete Yes, I am able to delete. Now, if I try to log in with another user, this is not having a system administrator profile. Some like another uh, profile, like system administrator flow. And if I click on account and try to delete it, so you'll get an error that you don't have permission to delete an account. Please contact system administrator. So I think this tri particular trigger was easy. Uh, I think you guys have understood this. Uh, please comment on the comment section if any if there is any feedback and click on the like button of the video and please share with your friends. Thank you.